All the tweak names, sources, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. Cast Switcher changes the app switcher on your iPhone to a grid view. Drag Enabler brings the drag and drop feature from iPad OS to iOS. So as you can see right here, I could grab a link from Safari and put it in another application, for instance, Notes, just like that. Roman Pad changes the numbers on your passcode lock screen and the phone dialer in the phone app to Roman numerals, as you can see. Settings Collapse allows you to collapse specific sections of the settings app to go for a cleaner look, as you can see right here. No functionality is lost, though. You could still tap on the options to access them. It just goes for a more compact look. 5Doc13 allows you to place an additional fifth icon in the dock, as you can see right there. Circle Settings will make the icons in your settings application circular, as you can see right here. Clear Doc12 removes the blurred background from the dock area at the bottom of the home screen going for a clean look. And continuing with the trend of simplifying the home screen, Hide Labels 13 completely removes all of your app icon labels as you can see. Tempest Romanum allows you to change the time on your device to show in Roman numerals as you can see. It works on the lock screen slash cover sheet area and in the status bar as well. And of course if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak there's a few options to configure. Volume percent adds a percentage to the volume HUD. As you can see here, we do have a percentage both in the shrunken view and in the expanded view. You can even customize the color of both the expanded and shrunken percent, as you can see, in addition to a few other options inside the settings for the tweak. Clean Tabs 13 removes the labels from the tabs that appear at the bottom of a variety of applications, as you can see right here, going for a cleaner appearance. Cowbell adds your current battery percentage to the low power mode module in the control center if you have it added. Normally in iOS, if you want to clear your recent calls in the phone app, you have to select edit, clear, and then clear again. However, with clear recent calls, it just adds a button at the top of the recent calls. You could just tap and easily access the clear command without having to select the edit button. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Easy swipe allows you to access your cover sheet, your control center, and of course your spotlight search through easy swipe gestures on the home screen. By default, this tweak is set up so when you swipe down on the left side of your home screen, it'll take you to your cover sheet. And if you swipe down on the right side, it'll take you to your control center. In the middle is reserved for spotlight search. If you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can determine which of those three commands occurs whenever you swipe down on either the left, the middle, or the right side of the home screen. Delete Cut allows you to easily delete whole words using the keyboard. Just tap and hold on the Shift button, and then you'll notice the Delete key turns red, and now you could tap on the Delete button, and it'll delete whole words at a time in this state, as you could see. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there are some options to configure. No Icon Fly-In 13 gets rid of the animation that's normally there when you unlock your device. So the device on the right here does have the tweak installed, the device on the left does not. You can see here the point of reference. Normally, there's that animation when the icons zoom in, but the tweak gets rid of it, and your lock screen just slides straight up, and your icons are right there with no animation. Normally in iOS, when you tap and hold on either the globe icon or the smiley face icon on the keyboard, you'll get this option to go to the keyboard settings, and you'll also get these one-handed keyboard options. However, with hide KB settings, it allows you to hide the keyboard settings button and the one-handed options, as you can see here, going for a cleaner look. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Blank Pass completely removes the numbers and letters from the passcode number pad, as you can see right here. Hide NC Text will hide the text that says Notification Center above a notification or a group of notifications, as you can see right here. And also another tweak related to notifications is lower the notifs. As you can see normally in iOS on the left here, the name of applications within notifications is all capital, but with lower the notifs, as you can see, it makes the name of the applications all lowercase. Low power D&D &D will automatically enable low power mode as soon as you enable do not disturb mode on your device, as you can see. Then whenever you disable do not disturb, low power mode will also be disabled automatically. And while we're on the topic of do not disturb, here's no D&D &D banner. This tweak will remove the banner notification that's normally present in the lock screen slash cover sheet area, telling you that you're in do not disturb mode when it's enabled. This just goes for a cleaner appearance on the cover sheet slash lock screen. Normally in iOS, when you're redirected from one application to another application, iOS places a button in the upper left hand corner allowing you to go back to the previous app. However, no breadcrumb 13 completely removes that functionality. No C share will remove the airdrop slash contact suggestions that can appear when you're sharing something within the photos application if those are bothering you. This tweak also allows you to both rearrange and remove airdrop from your favorite sharing options. As you can see here, normally in iOS, we're not able to rearrange airdrop or remove it from the favorites, but with this tweak, we're able to do so. Now playing icon will show the album artwork of the music that you're currently listening to as the icon for the app that's playing music, as you can see right there. Photo info will show the resolution and disk usage of photos and videos in the photos app. As you can see right there, just right at the top, 
it will display that information just like that. Prediction Shortcuts gives you pasteboard shortcuts in the predictive text section of your keyboard, as you can see. And as you can see here, you're still able to get those word suggestions if you want them. This just appears when this space is not being used. And then, of course, you could use the prediction shortcuts to select all, cut, copy, paste, whatever you want to do. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there are some options to configure. Normally in iOS, when you swipe from left to right on a notification, it's going to open up the application that the notification came from to that notification. However, with slide to show notification, it's just going to expand the notification itself rather than opening up the full app. So you can see here this works for the messages application with quickly replying or other applications with just expanding the notification. Normally in iOS, when you search something up in Spotlight Search and you tap on a result, and then you go back to Spotlight Search, the text that you typed will still be there. But as you can see, with Spot Clear on Close, it'll automatically clear the text that's in the Spotlight Search as soon as you tap on a result to keep your Spotlight Search clean. Noir allows you to easily enable and disable dark mode just by pulling to refresh in the Settings app, as you can see, just like that. Normally in iOS, the reachability feature automatically dismisses itself after you tap an element on the screen. But as you can see here with stay down, reachability will stay on the screen even when you're tapping on options and interacting with your device. Of course, it will automatically time out or you could just repeat the reachability gesture to dismiss it or you could actually swipe up on this arrow if you want to as well. But once again, tapping options or tapping in the empty space at the top will not dismiss reachability with this tweak. Vixie will hide all the app badges on your home screen icons. Bounce It adds a very springy animation to when you open and close applications on your device and open and close folders and open and close the app switcher as well. Color My Battery allows you to set the battery indicator on your device to change colors based on the current charge level of your device. So to set this up, you want to head over to the settings for the tweak, and in here you can determine what percent levels will show what color. So you can see here this purple color is set for 41 to 45 percent, and my battery is currently at 41 percent, and you can see that color is reflected. And in addition to the color configuration, there's also some additional options in the settings as well. Swipe Shift Caret allows you to easily move your cursor through text just by swiping on the screen like so. Normally in iOS, you can swipe from left to right on a notification and you'll get the option to open. And if you swipe all the way, it'll go ahead and execute that command. Same thing goes when you're swiping from right to left, you'll have the option to clear and you'll also have some other options, but you can swipe all the way to the left and it'll clear. With easy notifications, this is simplified. You could just easily swipe from left to right and it'll execute the open command. And the same thing goes for the opposite direction. You could just swipe from right to left very lightly and it'll go ahead and clear. So the swipe sensitivity is increased and it removes those other options. It's just open and clear through easy swipe gestures. In numerous instances throughout iOS, this bar can appear above the keyboard that allows you to easily skip between text fields or press done to dismiss the keyboard. If you want to remove this bar and go for a more minimalist look, topless keyboard does do that as you can see. Normally in iOS, when you swipe to the left on a notification, you'll get the option to manage the notifications for that specific application. However, if you want to remove that option, as you can see, don't manage my notifications does do that. Normally in iOS, when you scroll through the app drawer in the conversation view of the messages app, as you can see there, the drawer expands as you scroll. However, if you don't want that to happen, as you can see here, small message app drawer removes that effect. Oh My Flash allows you to set the flashlight on your device to automatically disable after a specified amount of time that you can configure figure inside the settings for the tweak. So just enter the amount of minutes here and then select save. And then after that, whenever you turn your flashlight on, it will automatically disable after that specified amount of time. Now, of course, I shortened this sequence for the sake of time, but you can see there after one minute, the flashlight does turn itself off. So this can prevent your iPhone's battery from draining if you accidentally leave your flashlight on. Any key trackpad allows you to tap and hold on keys that aren't the space bar to enter trackpad mode on the keyboard. Now, of course, devices with 3D touch are able to enter trackpad mode just by 3D touching anywhere on the keyboard. However, this tweak allows you to just tap and hold on keys that aren't the space bar to enter trackpad mode, regardless of whether you have a 3D touch device or not. Normally in iOS, the top bar of the conversation view in the messages app is slightly transparent. So when you're scrolling through conversations, you'll see a blurred version of the bubbles scrolling past as you're scrolling. Solid messages banner completely removes this effect. Normally in iOS, when you have multiple different keyboards added on your device and you tap the globe icon, it's just gonna cycle you through all of the keyboards that you have added. However, with keyboard Accio, it's just gonna cycle you between your first two. So for me, that's English and emoji. So as you can see right here, I tap on that globe icon. It's just gonna cycle me between my first two. I can still access the others just by tapping and holding and then selecting whichever one I want. But again, as soon as I single tap that globe, it's gonna switch me between my first two 
two keyboards. Normally in iOS, if you want to get to the markup menu when editing a photo within the Photos app, you have to select these three dots at the top and then select markup. However, quick markup just adds a markup button right to the top of the editing menu so you could quickly access it without ever having to select those three dots. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.